Jake's New Face Showcase, we're at River One Casino. The Swan Brothers are in the house. Everybody yes. Says. What's up, boys? Would Take two. Did y'all ever get sick of these? Uh, not that you would admit to it, but was it tiring on the voice when you were like, oh, another interview? Or, or were it you was, like, It was 24-7. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it was, you start at, you know, 5 a.m. It was a job, wasn't it? Well, I think, and I think on the voice you're just uh, you're always trying to stay one step ahead on, as far as the interviews and stuff because sure we learned through Blake you know that like the the character and the interviews and all that stuff plays a, a big a part and that's how it, that's how people get to know you man yeah yeah you're yeah. developing yourself as an artist yeah if you're just joining us this is the Swan Brothers it's Riverwind Casino New Face Showcase. Ever since the release of Later On, we were like, okay, let's see if we can get these guys on New Face Showcase. It worked out, and dreams do come true. And you're here. Absolutely. And I was talking to you, Colton, earlier about the fact that you had some options when it came to a new single, and then when Later On hit you, it just kind of made sense. Tell us about that. Yeah, man, uh, you know, as an artist, once you sign a record deal, there's yeah. people saying, hey, cut this song, cut this, record this, record this. And so you got, like, I think we listened to, like, 2,000 songs, yeah. you know. And later on, man, it just had, just had that vibe that we wanted. It had sure. that fishing in the dark groove, and and, um, and just those harmony-driven melodies, you know. And and then uh, what was pretty cool about the single is we didn't know it was gonna be our first single. We yeah. went, we went back, did it on the voice to visit, you know, visit Blake and all that. Yeah. And um, so basically, America got to pick our single. And uh, like, <laughs> because their reaction was kind of right. Like, hey. uh, they don't know. I mean, you guys don't know this, but the very next day, the, the head of the label's like, "I think we found your next single." Yeah. So your first single. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, your first <laughs> single. First. So, yeah. <laughs> very cool. Uh, so man, that was man. We're just we're two blessed guys. Yeah. Man. And now we're in our home state tonight. Like, exactly. That's the best feeling ever. And then we were also mentioning earlier when you came to Oklahoma City when you were growing up in Muskogee, that was a big time. That oh, was like, we're yes. coming to the city. <laughs> what would you do? Was that like a, a movie night or a concert, swan cert? <laughs> you know, most of the time, if I came to Oklahoma City, it was it was to see music yeah. of some sort. Really? Yeah. The the uh, I guess it used to be the this is the Ford Center. Used to be, and then the now the Chesapeake Energy Arena. Yes. We tried to name it the Jake Center. It didn't work out. Yeah. <laughs> didn't, didn't quite get there. I mean, there were those days. I mean, because it was to me, it's still new. Do you remember any acts that you saw back at the Ford Center? You know, I think the first time I saw Brad Paisley was, was there, I think. Yeah. Um, and I'm, I love Brad Paisley because, yeah. you know. He can play, he can ride. Dude's crazy. And and, um, and I want to say Def Leppard. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And that was awesome. Yeah. So. You will appreciate this. My first concert was at that arena with the Eagles. Because that was oh. me and my dad, and we were like all about the Eagles. And then you guys performed some Eagles songs on The Voice, and that's kind of a, a, a big part of your music culture growing up, right? Oh my gosh, man. That's our favorite yeah. band of all time. What Eagles. about it? You know, it's just, you never know what to expect from them. Yeah. Like, when we were making our record, we like, we really want to put songs on a record like, like they did. Because they had everything from Life in the Fast Lane to, which was kind of rocking, to sure. Peaceful Easy Feeling, which was more classic country. You know, it's just like, awesome. yeah. but it doesn't matter what style song they're singing, you know it's them. Yeah, yeah. you can hear the harmonies. You yes. can hear the, yeah. That's the approach we took on, on our record, you know. Nothing sounds like it goes in a pot together. Sure, but, it's the Swan Brothers, it's it, the sound. Yeah, mm -hmm. the, cool. the sound is there. So. Your favorite eagle, which which one? I love Don Henley, man. Yeah. If, I could, if I could have anybody's voice. <laughs> but I tell you, we, we finally got to go see him for the first time. Really? And I tell you, who kind of stole the show, was Joe Walsh. He, anytime he whips out a guitar, and did he do any of his, his Joe Walsh? Oh, yeah. oh yeah. heck yes, man. He just he was great. He was. He, I think he's better now than he was yeah. back then. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What about Blake? I mean, you guys, of course, was it an obvious choice that when the chair turned, okay, there he is. Let's get on this team and get after it. Well, I think Oklahoma would have shunned us. It would, <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't be here. That's yeah, right. right. <laughs> we would have put you can't anyone else. Yeah. So, but we knew. I mean, yeah. you know. We, we didn't know what kind of guy he was, but we thought we knew what kind of guy sure. he was, and he surpassed our expectations. You, he confirmed. Yeah. What you see is what you get, man. And what's yeah. funny is, on the show, you, you get you get to hang with them, and mm -hmm. you get to learn from them, and, but you're still limited to time. There's so many people on there, you know, and so yeah. much stuff to do. But now, we are learn we're still learning from Blake. like From him? Yes, mm -hmm. from him. Like, we talk to him more. He's, man, he's just, he's a great guy. He's, yeah. He took us turkey hunting. Right after I saw some ends. tweets. Yeah. yeah. And then did you do any good? I didn't. He did. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, Blake got one, but uh, my brother's a terrible, terrible hunter. Yeah. He's, 
No, but even just hanging out, man, just, yeah. you know, just sitting in his lodge and, you know, not really wanting to talk about business, but, you know, something will get brought up and we're learning, Yeah. you know. I mean, well, he's the guy's lived been there all. since he's been yeah. 17, right? Yeah. I mean, he's yeah. spent a lot of time in Nashville. Mm -hmm. But when you look at a career like that and you see yourselves not only as artists but as brothers, how is that developing into your career? Is it something that's making it easier, or has he given advice on that? I mean, this is something that's different for him. Well, for us, it's, uh, it's you know, I think I speak for both of us when I say that I really honestly don't believe I could make it as a solo artist. Really? Um, you know, there's just... I don't either. I don't think he can make it. <laughs> You don't you think know, you could? You know, <laughs> now you on the other hand. Nor, nor would I want to. Yeah. You know, I think this is our thing and, you know, there's something about us on stage together, you know, it's great to play with and, and, and when And we're running a business now, like we're realizing that it's a business now yeah. and, and yeah, we have our brother fights and stuff, but... Still? Yeah, oh, yeah. we're going to have this. I actually David just now. punched him in the face <laughs> before we started this interview. He recovers well. He's uh, bleeding so, a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> makeup. But, uh, you know, whatever you're doing in life, like, I think it just, if family's involved, yeah. you, you kind of go the extra mile to work harder mm -hmm. or just to see them succeed. Because I'm not in it just for me now. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm in it for him, too. So. Yeah. You kind of you kind of lose a little ego doing that sure. too, I think, and um, it's a good point. So you never lost ego. <laughs> okay. See, and you guys can keep each other straight. Yeah. I mean, you keep each other lined out. Right. But at the end of the long year and the long summer, when you're looking across the table at Thanksgiving, he's there. You don't get right. And so I mean, it's something that you, you're kind of stuck, right? Oh, we dude. live together. We ride a bus together. Yeah. We're in planes together. Um, we share hotel rooms. Like we have to get along. Yeah. And we had to move to Nashville, as you know, sure. but when we moved, we found the cheapest house, the biggest house that we could find, um, so we could get rooms on the opposite end of the house, you know, because okay. so, we live together too, <laughs> yeah. so it's just, we rent a house in Nashville, yeah. so, uh, so that's what it's like being brothers and stars at the same time, it's, it's, it's kind of the same as the regular life of being brothers, but kind of different. As long as he does what I tell him, <laughs> and we only argue over, like, music and money, so it's not like we're oh, going to worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we got a cool summer coming up. You guys are probably at the CMA Fest and then beyond. So what can you tell us of what to expect? What can we say about the CMA Fest? I know we're playing it. Yeah. Um, can we say... Are you looking towards your tour? Do you know more? I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. We're, uh, our summer is crazy. CMA yeah. Fest, we will be there. I, can't, I don't know the exact date, but the lineup will be listed. And, and, uh, and then we have probably... I think I counted, you know, 80 plus shows between now and the end of October, um, playing the fair circuits, a lot of the showrooms, casinos, yeah. stuff like that. And by shows, he means swansards. Swansards. Oh, hashtag. Is that a hashtag? Oh, absolutely. Hashtag swansards. So, sometime between now and then, our record will come out. Yep. And, uh, man, really excited about that. There's some cool surprises on there. And, and also, we've been talking, we can't say many details but possible tour yeah uh -huh. there's, some, there's some tours coming maybe fall or early next year and it's gonna be fun it's, it's gonna, it's gonna no matter what decision we make it's gonna be fun. but the, with these shows right now it's so cool because you know we're, we're we'll still do songs that we did on the voice you know yeah, yeah. um but it's really cool to see people singing later on yeah like thank you guys so much for playing you bet right? couldn't have picked out of the box song. these guys were in our corner out of the box so out of the box you ever hear that song I haven't. Okay, I, I, I this just got that. awkward. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> How do you put up with that? Yeah, I know. Yeah. All right, so you got the CMAs. Everything's going on. Your parents are here tonight. What is that? They are. Did they make it? Yes, they did. What does that mean? And now that you can see them from a different, you probably can't see them tonight, but you know they're here. Are they proud of you? I think I know the answer. Man, our dad is like the most manly guy you'll ever meet, and now all he does is cry. Are you serious? It's hilarious. <laughs> it's what, hilarious. What's making him cry? Is he hanging around too many onions, or what? I don't think, man, I think he's just proud. Yeah. He's just proud, and, and he's glad that he don't have to pay our bills anymore. <laughs> I think he's just like happy. Yeah. He has you know, so many years, and, you know, he said, you're going to have to get a real job. I can't do this. And I told him one day my lack of hard work would pay off. <laughs> Your lack of hard work. There you go. <laughs> Thus, you become a musician, yes. a touring band as Swan yes. Brothers. Very cool. Well, we can sit here and probably talk until you guys go on, but we're going to let you guys go, get warmed up. The draft's still going on. We appreciate you being here, though. The Swan Brothers, a new face showcase. And while you're in Oklahoma, kind of, you know, enjoy home for a little while. Oh, it's good to be in Thunder Nation. <laughs> yeah. There you go. It used to be Sooner Nation.
It still <laughs> is Sooner <laughs> Nation. Not Thunder Nation. <laughs> Rufus Alexander's in the house. He doesn't hear it. Anyway, thank you guys for being here. It's New Face Showcase Riverwind Casino with 93.3 Jake FM.